Hello everyone, we are back to do our Hendersonville loop. We are leaving Carl Sandberg here and going to go through a roundabout, go through the sharp turns. If you watch my video from the other day, you will see that um, we did part of this loop and so we're gonna see if it's different today. It was overcast on Friday morning and today it's clearly obviously sunny nice day outside and we're just gonna see if there's any difference between the two days I guess it was a good good comparison test now this is a problem obviously um, this is a one-way road right here so you can't go that direction and it would be quicker if you go this way the way the map wants us to go is not not the way you should go it goes onto a gravel road I don't want to go that way and so we have to wait until it's passed here for it to re reroute. There you go. Now we can enable it. So please keep your hand on the wheel at all times. The people who say it's like, oh, the system's not clear enough. I'm like, it literally says every single time you enable it, please keep your hand on the wheel. Awesome. This is... I really don't. Yeah, so this is not, no, this is not good. See, I wish we could leave feedback in this without disengaging, because technically it's like, is that really doing it wrong? And at the same time, you're just being an annoyance to everyone around you, so it's not like it's making a safety error. Hey, it fixed this issue. It read the speed limit sign finally. That's great. I finally got that speed speed limit correct. That being said, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and up the speed. The 35 side is right right here. We're gonna see how quickly. See the 35? Yeah, right before the sign, it changes the speed limit and it starts accelerating up. I, I I think it needs to do it even further back, personally. But that's that's an improvement that it's reading the speed limit signs correctly now. And normally you would go 40 on this road, but we're just gonna go 35. It's gonna be nice and nice and relaxed today. One thing I wanted to note on the last video, there was no phantom braking. Like the very tiniest, tiniest bit, which was like if I wasn't paying attention to like what the car's doing, I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have noticed, right? Like that in the past, that car coming up would have um, caused it the phantom brake. Nothing. But these shadows would have caused it the phantom brake. So far, nothing. So that's fantastic. Now we got a roundabout coming up here. It didn't break for that car, which is great. I wouldn't have braked either. It's slowing down for the roundabout. I was gonna say too much, but then it stayed stayed at a higher speed. So this is good. And this is, well, this is a little bit too hesitant. Staying a little bit better centered in the roundabout. Still room for improvement, but not bad. Like it made it smooth, everything. I think it could have been more confident and stayed a little bit more centered in the roundabout, but otherwise, Totally, totally acceptable. Okay, so we got a yellow light. I would already be slowing down. And it's still not slowing down for the red light. Stopping for traffic light, but personally I would have been slowing down a lot sooner. I think because it was only going 35. It, and like this was a smooth slowdown, but to what would make me comfortable it should have been slowing down sooner than that. It should start coasting some because, right, it's, it's best for efficiency and it's just best for overall smoothness. Like if I, if I can be going five mile an hour once it turns green versus like one mile an hour, that's just overall a smoother experience. So this is where we're repeating from Friday. So now we have a car in this lane and we have this car, two cars in this lane, it's gonna mess up. I'm calling it, it's gonna mess up. Right, it can't be in the middle of the road. I'm pressing the accelerator. I can't let it stay in the middle of the road. Okay, so I'm not pressing it right now. Okay, so I can go after this. 
Okay. What? <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a um, camera snapshot for that one. I think it, it thought that car was going to continue going to my my left and was going to like hit me for some reason. I don't know. But um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say if that was a real improvement. Um, I'd say it was just you know 10% better. You gotta put a random number on it. It's a little bit better, but it's not like anything magical. Not like these these turns. That's something that I don't know. Like it's it's hard to see in the video, but trust me when I say the turns. Every single turn it makes, like this. We'll see. We'll see if I. <laughs> just so much better and yet it saw it swing back but it corrected itself it was going to cut that corner too sharply and now it, it, it made it cut out wide to make the corner correctly right especially with a car there that's harder with a car sit car sitting there and so that did very well the turns are just so much better on this version it's like i don't remember the re release notes like indicating that turns would be better but it's like they're they just feel so much more confident like there's less hesitancy it's not eliminated, mind you. Like, there's clear hesitancy still, but it's, like, just it's substantially less. Right? Like, this this turn right here... Okay, see that? It was a little bit of an issue. But, this, it turned correct angle. Instead of going wide out like it was previously, it turned the correct angle. So, we are... When we are out... And have our waypoint set for Main Street. It'll be interesting when they add parking lots, right? Alright, it'll be really interesting because then I can just enable it right there. It'll pull out and... Um... Well, we got the, um more cowbell easter egg i guess i've hit it too many times might have to oh my goodness <laughs> um how do we stop this Stop it! <laughs> oh my god! Please! Okay. Wow, everyone. Okay. I don't even... I wasn't even paying attention to, like... I think those people, like, cut in front of me at the four-way stop. Right? And I couldn't even leave a message because of the stupid cowbell thing. I didn't even press it four times like you're supposed to to make it happen <laughs> anyways wow I don't know what, what was happening and he got rid of my nav navigation waypoint I think that was a bug let's see if it'll route quick enough before it messes up because the navigation is so slow the route it's probably gonna try and go straight Okay, made it just in time. Just in time. Okay. We'll see if it can make it all the way to the end here. It's stopping for the yield sign for some reason. There's no one there. Okay, so it finally navigated, but 
it like it redirected my waypoint. It's like it can't figure out how to get here. It's like it's not like I guess in the way the map data is, it's just like it's impossible to get to Edward Street, right? And it just, it just doesn't exist, which is odd because it shows it there. Um, that's that's a like a major issue that has to be fixed for like robot taxis to work at all. Like it needs to be able to like navigate where you put the point. Um, I mean. It, this is my guess is what will happen when the rubber taxis first come out is that um, they're only going to drop you off on the curb not at your destination it's going to be like somewhere you know close by will be acceptable when they first happen for Tesla's robo taxis right it's not going to drop you off directly at your destination like if it dropped me off here and I needed to go here that's like what a half block and, and a small city block at that it's not even like it's not even that far of a walk. It's like a couple hundred feet. So it's not like it's that big of a deal um, for the first RoboTags. Eventually they'll fix it, right? Eventually that's not going to be a problem. But for the first ones, they can get away without fixing that. That's the thing. Don't, like the naysayers say, it's not possible. Just because that happens, people will use it if they have to walk a couple hundred feet if, because it's cheaper to use the RoboTaxi. Or like you don't have to deal with a person, etc., etc. Like this is not a stop. It's a yield, but there's no people here. There's no people to yield to. There's keeps on. Oh, it's pr it might be trying to stop. No, it's stopping for traffic lights. What it says. I wonder if it's gonna actually turn. Okay, let's see what it does making this turn. This is going to be the end of this video right here in a sec. Okay. Needed to stay in left lane to make turn. Okay, so everyone, um, the cowbell really ruined the end of that, man. <laughs> I don't know, like... There needs to be a way to stop those Easter eggs. That's that's annoying and really distracting if you accidentally do that. I'm like, I, there has to be a way to stop it. Like, you should be able to, like, start your music and it will start or something. I don't know, like... <laughs> but that was really frustrating. I couldn't pay attention. I couldn't... I didn't know what was happening. Like, it disabled my navigation. It, it really caused some issues. Like... And I did not press you... To get the cowbell, you have to press it, like, that many times. To get the cowbell thing to come i've done it manually before and i'm like that's fine but i didn't press it that many times i pressed it like that like that shouldn't have done that so i'm not sure why why that came up anyways um i'm trying to think back this um the main thing that's improved is better curves the the turns oh, sorry turns not curves turns are definitely better Everything is a lot smoother. There's less phantom braking. Everything's overall more refined. Um, again, city streets, again, I wasn't expecting a big increase. There are several improvements, several maybe not so improvements, but again, it's two steps forward, one step back. It's what we want to see. Uh, and hopefully the next update gives overall focus of everything is just better in general. But yeah, appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.